Hello and greetings from Serpent Consulting Services. We all use various social media for different purposes, be it for personal or professional reasons. We at Serpent have developed a very interesting module known as WhatsApp Connector, which, with the help of a chat API, sends notifications related to the tasks that have been carried out using Udo, which help businesses run more smoothly. So let me walk you through it. I will log in as admin. We are going to see the different functionality of WhatsApp Connector for various modules in Udo, like sales, purchase, inventory, invoicing, payroll, leads, etc. Let's begin with some of the settings in company configurations. Let's go to companies. Under the companies in WhatsApp configuration tab, you can see a URL that is provided. This is an URL of the chat API which we are going to use. A chat API is an interface that provides real-time chat features to an application or website. Once you have bought a subscription for the same, you will be provided a token number and an instance number, which we are required to fill in here. So let's do that. I will copy the token number and the instance number, which is given here. Once I've done that, I will click on save. I will click on get QR code button, which will help me log in from a mobile using the WhatsApp web. Let's do the same. You can see a QR code that is generated. So using my mobile, I will log in. And once I've done that, you can see it like this. I will click on reload and get status. You can see you're successfully logged in and you're authenticated. Let's begin with contacts. You can see I've already created a contact and I've added a phone number. To check if this is a WhatsApp number or not, I will click here on check WhatsApp number button. And if it is a WhatsApp number, this tick mark will automatically be populated. Now let's see one by one how each model works with the WhatsApp Connect. Let's begin with sales. Let's say I'm creating a quotation by selecting a customer. And I will add the product which she has bought. I'll click on save and I will send this to her as a message. Once I confirm it, the, the customer will receive a message like this saying that, hello, Mansi, your order, that's the sale number order, is confirmed and is ready for delivery. So, when, if I want to confirm the delivery, I'll go to inventory and I will see there are three to process. I will click on this one and I will validate. Once I've done that, the customer will receive a message saying that, hello, you ordered this, this is delivered. Now I want to send an invoice to Mansi regarding the same. So I will create an invoice and select the customer, the product, And I will save and validate. The customer has received a message saying, here is your invoice, the invoice number, with the amount. Please remit payment at your earliest convenience. So this is how the sales inventory invoicing model works. Let's see how it works for purchase module. Let's go to purchase. And let's say I've bought something from a vendor. I will click on save. Once the order is confirmed, Anna received the products. 
I will save a message saying that, hello, your delivery order, this is, is delivered to service CS. Now I will receive and I will write it. Let's say I want to create a bill for the vendor. And once I validate, the customer will receive a message saying, hello, your invoice bill and the amount is paid for the receipt kindly uh, refer to the link below. So this was a purchase module. Let me show how it works for the uh, HR part. Let's say I have created an employee, same Freya. I've added her number and everything, the email ID and the manager. I will log in into her ID. Let's say she has uh, put a leave on the 29th as a legal leave. I will put one more. She has legal leave. She has sent it for approval to the manager. The message, the manager will receive a message. Manager of Priya will receive a message saying that, hello, I submitted a leave request, the employee name, the date, and the number of days. Now I will approve, I will approve the leave for her. You can see on the third, sorry, on the first, I will approve it. Once I've approved it, the employer will receive a message saying, Hello Priya, your leave with the description has been approved. So this is how uh, the different modules linked with Udo Connector work. If you want to send a message directly from your, let's say I will select a contact. It, the message type can be a text, media or a URL link. And the message can be, let's say, Hello, and I will click on send. Once I've done that, you can see if you see a message here, hello. If you want to see the, call, the message log, you can see it from your WhatsApp message log. You can see the entire history of the messages that have been sent from here. Thank you so much for taking out your time to watch this video. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.